Monday morning. Um, we've already gotten up and we've gotten some vegetables in us. We just had a big bowl of mixed vegetables that we all shared and we've eaten some walnuts. Um, I'm bringing some on the run for the kids too because they said that they really wanted some and I'll probably snack on some as well. Um, I have added a couple of nuts back into my diet and I'm really grateful because I really love walnuts. So we're going to get going. We're going to go do a run and on our way for the run we're going to do our morning circuit boost and some yeah. arm workouts. Yeah. Are you excited about it? Yes. I can't have my coffee until after we're done with the morning workouts. That's the rule around here these days. So we better get to the workouts. and I'm just now getting my first cup of coffee so I better make a big one so we got back from our run a little while ago um, I missed one interval of running just because the kids were starting to melt down and we just needed to get home so during my run I also got in my circuit training and I also got in every time I passed a bench I did 25 push-ups leaning against a bench so I think I got in about 125 push-ups which is awesome and then I did some dips also, which I think I got in maybe 40, because they're really hard. I have to tell you, I am not a fan of sauerkraut. I don't like sauerkraut unless it's on a Reuben. They swear it's good for you, but I'm not convinced that they're not trying to kill me. But I firmly believe that if you eat something enough, you can make yourself like it. And I know sauerkraut is really good for you. So I've been choking it down and I can't have watermelon until I eat the sauerkraut. Earned it! Hey guys, so the kids are all asleep and I finally got in the kitchen kind of clean. So it's time to talk to you about some goals that I want to talk to you about. First, I wanted to tell you about this weekend. This weekend we went and we did a gym and swim on Saturday at the YMCA. And I was really excited because I got a chance to jog without any kids. And I've been really working on not plopping down with my heels when I'm jogging. Because I know that's part of the reason why I'm really slow. I know that's prob probably part of the reason why I'm really fatigued while I'm running. So I've been doing some exercises that my husband taught me, trying to get more up on the ball of my foot. And on Saturday, I had the best run I've ever had. It was, it was just really great. I was able to get up on the balls of my feet. Um, I did the track. So I did, you know, one lap running, one lap walking, one lap running. And at the end, I did interval training. So I did high knees and I did um, high heels. So I'm really working on that, hopefully, I'll be able to have some more progress pretty soon. Anyway, I'm just really excited for that improvement that it's it's started and I can see a noticeable difference. So hopefully that will continue. Anyway, today I wanted to talk to you about um, some goals because I'm already working towards the goal of running more efficiently on the balls of my feet. I wanted to talk about some other goals. So I re-recorded re this whole audio because I was so focused on writing on the whiteboard that I sounded like a robot when I was speaking. So this is my thing about goals. Um, what I'm sharing is what I've learned from my experience because I used to set goals really poorly. They're too big, they're unrealistic, they're really long-term goals that I can't focus on because they're too far-sighted. So, I had to pause and think about really how I was setting goals. 
I really thought about it and I thought about what I want to achieve and it didn't really have a whole lot to do with the thigh gap and it didn't really have to do a whole lot with being able to run a marathon. What it had to do with was me being okay with myself and with me being able to be around here for my kids and participate the way that I want to with them. So I thought about it for a while and I came up with these what I think are better big goals. My three big goals are this, to be strong enough to participate in life the way that I want to. I want to go horseback riding, I want to go hiking, and I want to play with my kids. And if I'm a really big person, I just, I can't do that. Number two is to have a healthy and durable mind and body. I want to be able to have the energy for that. I want to be able to be quick. I want to be able to be up and at them. And when I'm unhealthy, I just can't do that. And then three is to love this vessel. I, I thought, honestly, that three was going to be the hardest to achieve because I really, for upwards of 10 years, just hated my body. I hated it. And there are a couple of things that led to me not hating my body anymore. Uh, some of those are for a different video, but long story short, it consistently my body has shown that it's up to challenges that people say it's not up to. So really, I've just gotten to a place where I love my body, I appreciate it, um, and what I want to do is to sculpt it out of love. So it is through love that I'm now starting to see some headway on number one and number two. In the past, I've tried to punish my body into submission, and I just know that that's not good for me. That's never worked. So my new way of thinking is to just show my body love. I, I love my body so I'm going to give it the best food. I love my body so I'm going to give it the work that it deserves. So after looking at those goals, I found that to achieve number one and number two, I really need to break things down into measurable steps. So I set some big goals, but then I broke it down into weekly goals. And my weekly goals, I think, are fairly simple. So I have three weekly goals. One is to work out and stretch every day. Two is to eat within the AIP guidelines. And three is bed at nine and wake up at five. Within those three, I have subsets. So within one, my schedule is really the goal. So I run and do interval work on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I do arms on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then I do fitness martial and legs and core on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and then I do stretch and circuit training every single day. That's my goal for the next four weeks at least. Number two, eat within the AIP guidelines. My subsets for that are no fries or chips and eat less fruits and veggies. That's just because fries and chips, I've been craving salty things lately and fries and chips are really where I want to go to and in my brain I think, oh, but it's just potatoes and oil and really I can let myself get out of control as we saw in the past videos. And then eat less fruits and vegetables. I just think that I'm probably eating too many fruits. I'm just going to try to go more veggie oriented. And then three, I'm a night owl and really I just can't be staying up late because I need that sleep if I'm going to be the best to my body that I can be. I also wrote down an extra goal and I just, it, the reasons for my extra goal don't make sense to you guys yet because I have not explained that yet. So I'm not going to talk about that today. That'll just be uh, an, for another video. Here's dinner, a sausage and some weak lip and asparagus. Then for dessert I think I'm going to have more watermelon.